So hello everyone. Today is again Friday, 21 o'clock uh, UK time. Passed a little bit, but we are starting our day reality talks with Alex. And today I have a dear guest, Paul. He's hello. from <laughs> Brazil. I'm from Bulgaria. You can watch during Facebook Live from all over the world. And the beautiful thing is that we are interconnected. It doesn't matter wherever we are with the new technologies. <laughs> we can meet very fast even as uh, I was acquainted uh, to Powell last uh, week where I was in Cyprus in a business seminar. And there was a lady, Adriana. She introduced me to him. So we met and now... I don't 100% say that we are friends, but we quite resonate with each other <laughs> and <laughs> we are together in this space. So, Paolo, if you can say something more about you, about your path, about your passions and so on and so on, and we can move on from here. Thank you. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> okay, so I'm Paolo. So I'm from Brazil, actually. And my passion right now is is to help people, like actually to help people to achieve their dreams um, by doing a business based on what your your skills are, like what's your best skills and what you really like to do, what you really love to do, what's your patience about. So really create a business with passion, not just by profit or just by opportunity. And I'm now doing it um, by helping people to develop a, like a, a digital sales system where you can sell everything you want to, everything you need to, uh, by the seasons, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty, like, how can I say that? It's, it's pretty measurable and it's pretty manageable. So anyone can do it, anyone can learn it. And by by using, the advertisement system. Uh, so you can have a lot of money or you can have just a little of money. You can do it with the, the Facebook and the Google algorithms. So what I'm passionate about it is that I can help people to live actually like I live right now because how I learned it, most of the friends of mine uh, just live a life based on their jobs and try to try to match with uh, like the life that they love they love to and they the things that they like to do and now i live the life that i like that i love i spend the whole day doing things that i love that is helping people to to make their business profitable so uh is a wish that i have that a lot of people can 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 achieve it is to live a life based on their dreams not just like keep working every day and try to live a life on the weekends or after work is not a is for me it's not a like a it's not a i cannot say it's not a good life but it's not how it's supposed to be <laughs> so um that's how I can start. So we, we, we can shout yeah. more and I can say more. So basically, uh, since you are in the digital space, I've never been in the digital space. It's uh, last oh. year I decided to enter this space. I never had a Facebook page. I never wanted to go into this space. <laughs> I was a very disconnected person. I loved success. I kept mm -hmm. it only for myself. From my young age, I was taught mm -hmm. from my... Uh, grandmother from all the old ladies in the village where I was living during the summer that mm -hmm. if you find somewhere success if you find something that you can earn money from you keep it only to yourself you never mm -hmm. share it because it is so precious so yes. from a young age I was uh, pursuing a lot of our achievements a lot of uh, success management and understanding how to be successful but I always mm -hmm. kept it only for myself. And I thought, well, everyone knows how to do it. Or if nobody asks me, I don't share. And I'm just moving forward into this uh, wheel <laughs> of chasing whatever we are chasing there. 
but I never thought that um, actually digital space is important. I didn't understand the reason why, just to post picture of myself or just to show everyone mm -hmm. how I'm moving around the world every 10 days or I'm traveling or doing other things. And I thought that private life uh, should be private. But <clears throat> actually, since during COVID, I experienced a lot of changes inside of me. And I was uh, really restarting my life like most of us, the human beings, has done during this period. Because with COVID, also a lot of rethinking processes started in all of us. Mm -hmm. And I opened myself about the world, about everyone else, about... Uh, uh, restart and change my perspective of everything because I was uh, very successful according to the measurement of what more people think or are trying to achieve because I had houses, cars, everything True. was secure for me. I have a lot of businesses that are successful, so I don't have anything else to pursue in life or maybe to retire or just to live by, but I decided to open myself for help to be surrounded mm -hmm. with success, to start sharing what I am and what I have. And I decided to become more like a benevolent person or a person that is giving himself away. And mm -hmm. this created a new type of um, journey for me, a new type of experience. And because of this, I actually went more into the necessity to enter this digital space. I don't understand it. I learned myself to ask for help and little by little I come in cooperation with different people like we do for example for you digital mm -hmm. space maybe it's like an air you understand it you say it's very easy <laughs> for me it's not so easy but anyhow this enhancer which is the digital mm -hmm. space where we the human beings can much more easy interact with each other can very easily show our good side because basically this is what we drew through the <laughs> digital space almost nobody showing their shadow side all of us are just <laughs> showing the good side of us and yes, then the sure. shadow side of us we are keeping it for ourselves or, or outside the digital space reality but of course uh long term i think that more and more authenticity is also coming in the digital space yes. and people are becoming more open more honest and just being ourselves and sharing that uh, we are not only positive beings and only good things are happening to us and that's why in the past even i was um, starting more and more to use this word fail book uh -huh. i'm showing people that i'm also failing in a lot of areas in, especially in the digital uh, space i'm failing almost daily in a lot of things which i don't understand mm -hmm. and for example <clears throat> how did you fail it and how you decided to support people especially in the digital space with how do you select the people with which you are working what you are seeking for when you are cooperating with people there Okay, so um, th that's nice. And like, I, I have two, two, two things to say about what, what you said to me right now. Uh, it's, one is about like how we see the life and the other thing is about like how digital, the, the digital business uh, worked for me. So the first thing is like, uh, it's, it's good to, to hear you say like that, that you achieve everything that you want in your life and like, you 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 got a lot of like money and you get you 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 could buy everything that you want to. Uh, in, for, for me, I, I was kind of different thing. I, I I live comfortable here in Brazil actually. Like my my, my family just got a, a, a few money, so I didn't like. So so I, I have a good life here, but like I I never chased the to get like millionaire and billionaire and stuff. I just keep it focusing on work and uh, I work it for many com uh, companies here in Brazil and in Ireland and in England. And for the, th those companies, I was just like doing, like like trading my time for money. And that's not, not how I like to live. So I get a lot of money over there, even more because if, if I get like a job in, in, in England or in Ireland, I was receiving like, I got paid in euro, 
and for Brazil, I can turn like four or five times. So it, it's really a lot of money there. So, and that was not like, was not making me feel greater. It's not, uh, we, we have a thing in Brazil that we say like, it's not keeping my bicycle riding. So I, I, I was getting money, I was happy, so, but I, I was actually buying my happiness, you know? I was not doing anything that make me happy. I just keep working on the same stuff. I was kind of robot and I get this money and say, no, now I'm going to buy my happiness. So uh, I was spending a lot of money over there. And that was not making me happy. And I find out my happiness when I actually after work a few years in Europe, I came back to Brazil and I find out that most of the friends of mine, most of the people that I know was actually doing this. It's not living a life. It's like, Keeping working and spending money, working, spending money is is that they're in kind of in the, in a rat cycle. So they, they keep in doing spinning the same wheel, and they're never gonna come back from this because they cannot see it. They cannot see how how the world can be different. The world like the society put there in that position that is the only thing that 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 that's possible to live. They don't know another possibilities. So. That's one thing that I told you in the first time that we talked about, that we, we kind of see a different kind of world, we different see in the different way uh, of the how how the world can be. Like the, the world is not just working, get money and waste, and working, get money and waste. Like we can do like much better things. And what I can tell you about the, the digital marketing is quite the same of the fiscal marketing, but you have two things that it's pretty big for me. Like it's, it's a life changer, it's, it's a method changer that you can measure and you can, you can get to everyone in the world that have internet access. So have access to billions of people just doing this, on your house, on your on everywhere you are, that you have an internet. I told you it's kind of the same, because my actual first job here in Brazil, I could not work at all. I was helping a friend. I was 14 years old, and they they are um, delivering some uh, folders and papers for the companies. So ah, uh, I, I I keep like. Uh, give it to the people on the streets to bring some people to uh, a business. Like it, it, it's a it's a food place. It's a very good actually. I, I know them just by now. So but it's, it's like uh, the they were giving flyers, like commercial. Yeah, it's giving flyers. Yes, commercial mm -hmm. flyers. That's it. That's it. So is the is my first contact with the marketing, but I didn't knew at the time how it works, and I found out that is quite the same because uh, if you have a business and you open it for the public, but you have no one passing through, no one gonna buy for you, you know? No one gonna get your product, no, no one gonna see it. And how these people, uh, how in the fiscal world kind of happens. So you put some people or uh, to give flyers to the people and they're gonna know you and they're gonna come to your business and how they're gonna buy for you. And the digital world, is, it, it works quite the same, but it's different. Because in the digital world, you can choose who you're gonna send the flyers, who you're gonna send the advertisement. Uh, you, you can put a, a, a huge outdoor and you are never gonna know who, who gonna see it or who gonna look at it. And in the digital world, you can measure. You can say, oh, I, I only wanted to send my advertisement to men uh, at that age that like these kind of things and have that amount of money. And even in the, his birthday date, like on December, you can choose it. And you can see how many people you're gonna bring it to. So that's the difference that I can see. 
it's quite the same. You have like your business and no one gonna pass through it unless you're gonna uh, send them to your, to your page. And that's what we call it traffic. Like you send traffic to, to your page. And that's actually how, basically how it works. <clears throat> so uh, can we say that in the normal world, actually the traffic is the people need to come to your store and in the digital world actually you are moving your store to the traffic uh -huh. so to say close yes to... you send them to your to your web page or to your mm -hmm. social media page and actually that's it like uh, i have a real difference of like I, I have a feeling of the organic traffic is like it's pretty good but you cannot measure. And my thoughts like, uh, if you have a Facebook page with a lot of followers, like you, you waste, you waste, no, you spend most of your time like doing, um, doing content and that stuff, but you don't send traffic to it. So you quite of like, you know, you have, you have your store, your fiscal store. You spend most of time of each like cleaning it, like put some better products, but no one gonna see it. You know, no one gonna see it. Uh, sometimes someone gonna pass through and like, oh yes, I like it, and gonna stay. Maybe they're gonna buy it. Uh, the the business online, they they should like spend most of the times on bringing people to the store, because like a bad store. With a good traffic, sell, sell uh, make sales. In like a real good store with no one passing through, don't gonna say at all. Don't gonna make any sale. So, for me, like traffic is way more important than like keep making posts and keep doing like things to make it like seems prettier. It's good for the ego. You're gonna look at your page and say, oh, okay. It's pretty good. It's pretty nice. I like it. But you can look to your to your bank account and say like, no, there, there's no money here. So there, there's way more reason to put more time on advertisement than like put more time on, on content and this stuff. So can we say that in the digital world, there is actually uh, the window shopping. I mean, the window of yes. your shop like the window is like your landing page. Uh -huh. And then through it, you bring people back inside your store, where is your content and everything that you are selling. But first, you are showing them your landing page. It's like your window of your store. Uh -huh. So basically, in the digital space, I'm constantly first approaching to everyone with my um, with my landing page. Yes. Correct? Yes, that's it. That's it. Uh, we bring people to to see it like bring a lot of people and how now you're gonna like make it better now that you bring a lot of people if you don't make a lot of sales something's wrong and now you're gonna say okay i bring like 100 people on my store and i make no sales so i'm gonna change my store or my landing page or my social media page and like make it better and you do it again with the same, so the same actually, way. actually, the first problem is that uh, people are coming to land your landing page. Yes. They enter your store. Uh -huh. They look at it and say, oh, it's a little bit dark. I'm going out. Or yes. they look at the store. Oh, it's so confusing. I don't understand what is even this store about. And they go out. Is it like uh -huh. this? The first attempts after they come to your landing page, how uh -huh. actually you understand that they are going to enter the store? further um, or can, can i go a little deeper on yeah. <laughs> like yeah. the knowledge yeah. so uh you we have a kind of pixel that is the code that you put in your advertisement that knows who are getting to your page so uh after you do like um you can do an advertisement campaign and see what kind of people did get to your page and who left and now you can understand, like, uh, now you can understand the profile of people. Like, what, what, is, what these guys have in common? What these guys don't like it, like, at all? 
wh why they why they came to me and like they left. So by understanding this, you make your uh, you make some adjustments, and you make your your offer better, or you can make your copy better, and try it again. Like the, the real thing on business that you don't know who are your customer, or your your um, who gonna buy from you? Who are your customers? Who are your, your prospects? Mm. You don't know it. You can imagine. You can try to know, but you have to try. So the, actually, the your your, your dream your dream client is maybe not your ideal client that is actually going to be attracted by the message that you are presenting. That that's quite it. You need to you need to test, like do a few tests, and see. You, you're you're perfect, like customer. Is the one that gonna buy from you, not the one that you think that is the best, and, and mm -hmm. they're gonna you're gonna help. Like, if if I have like uh, a few customers that real love your 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 product, so you wanna keep like you're gonna try to get more of them. Most mm -hmm. of the business owners have their oh, I have my dream profile. I I really want to help that people, or they are too generic. I want to help everyone in the world. So, and by keeping doing tests, you you understand um, actually who are the ones that are gonna buy from you. I use kind of like like the Pareto method. So, twenty percent of the the customers that you have gonna make like eighty percent of your of your profits at all. Mm -hmm. And I, I I quite do like a little more exponential. I take like twenty of twenty. 4% of the of your clients gonna bring like 80 of 80. So it's six four percent. So four percent of your clients gonna bring 64 of your profits. So you need to find that four percent. That's why I, I really love to go deeper and deeper and find that four percent. Now that I um like at the time that I found that four percent, we do need to do is the, the only thing that we can do is like raise your investments. And raise it and raise it and raise it to get more, um, like to get more income coming uh, into your business. Is that how I actually work? So basically, how much of the percentage of the advertisement and attraction is analyzing of the data mm -hmm. compared to just preparing and just posting the advertisement or the timing or? how how yes. usually it's done like a process yes. it's because like it, it's easier and make you feel better like make you feel that you are working now that you keep like oh doing posts uh, doing posts and cre create content for your social media and that stuff and like feels good and the people gonna like it and the people like are seeing your job but like it's quite not the thing for business is real good for like social media influencers or ah yeah i have my my own personal profile for business like the the main goal is to make it sales like mm -hmm. you most of the the people that i work with don't have like any uh subscribers or any followers and you can do advertisements at the same way that the people that have a bunch of followers because like none all the 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 followers that you have are your buyer you know are your clients most of people started wrong uh, they start a business and say oh to to a family oh uh can you follow me to raise my engagement and say to the friend oh can you follow me to, to raise my engagement? And the algorithm of the Facebook gonna understand how wrong. They're gonna understand. Oh, so these people is the one they're gonna like, they, they're gonna have interest in you. So I'm gonna bring more of these people. And it's not the right time. Uh, the, the, that's not the right way to do it. You keep so starting your business, basically there is... people they're gonna got, buy from you. Yeah, so basically there is some so, some type of a selection uh -huh. and then you need to bring long-term more of this 4% type of people mm -hmm. into That's your it. 
landing pages and everything that you're creating in order to start training the algorithms to attract more of this type yes. of training that... the algorithm is is, is is the main function that you must have because mm -hmm. it's better than you have a hundred people following you on instagram that are all your clients then a hundred then have ten thousands of just like of just people that don't gonna buy from you mm -hmm. you know it's it, and if you have like a, a hundreds of thousands of people and like no one buy from you like it's it's, it's like nothing mm -hmm. because all these people is like it's it's, it's, it's look alike of someone that followed you or mm -hmm. or it's they came from a method that most of people use that is i follow him and unfollow i follow him and unfollow and like the algorithm gonna understand it all wrong you it gonna make like you spend more time to bring the right people mm -hmm. and even this your your facebook page organically just gonna send your content to 10 to 15 percent of your audience mm -hmm. so if you're posting every day understand that no most of the people that follow you don't gonna see it because they are the facebook algorithms like this or have more people like they have more interesting things for them to see and actually even more like i drink coca-cola every day almost every day is like bad <laughs> but like i i, I drink coca-cola but i don't mm. follow them so understand them most of people like actually can buy from you and not even follow you. They just, they're interested in your product, not actually in your life or your, the things that your company doing. They, they already bought for you. They don't need like more advertisements or more see. So the, the, the great things is like most of business that I work with just have like, hundreds of followers and make like 200 300 of sales and most of people they buy from them don't even follow them mm -hmm. you, you don't need to have followers to make sales you need to present your product to more people that are more likely to buy from you you know mm -hmm. and quite that's it it's like expanding your your audience to people that don't know you because it, it, it don't make sense you keep selling the same thing to the same people every time yeah you know it's, it's the people that follow you you need to you need to show yourself to different kind of people so you bring more more audience to you so actually long term how you deselect yourself from type of people mm -hmm. that are long term going to wrongly start educating the algorithm and i would like to um understand this how you attract the people that resonate more with your me message and are passionate mm -hmm. from and you start to de-engage from people that are just like noise around you and basically it is important for me this type of knowledge how we are to educate the algorithm with what is important for us because mm -hmm. then i want to paraphrase it later about how actually reality works in the same way mm -hmm. where if i want new things to happen in my reality i need to start with my intent from my internal being to start educating new probabilities in the algorithm so to say of reality so that i can create a new shift in reality while of course i'm deselecting myself from all mm -hmm. behaviors from all things that were important in the past for me so actually the algorithm also in the digital space is 100 percent constantly monitoring what is yes. important for me in the digital space correct or not correct correct that's exactly how it works and that that's how the the social media things work like any of of social media works like based on data 
that you give to them. Like you give data to them and they work with. Like mm -hmm. uh, the Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, the um, any of the, the social media pages uh, work the same. And like they, they are monitoring you every time. They know like, they really know how much time you spend on each time of content and they're gonna give more to you. That's how the, the social media dilemma kind of works. Like they know what you like and they're gonna send more to you because that's how they make money. You know, they and need to also, keep you inside of the system. Also, media. is it important to walk our talk and to talk our walk? Because let's say, for example, I'm interested in reality and I'm interested mm -hmm. in how things are happening and so on and so on. Yes. And in my YouTube channel, I'm subscribed to specific channels that are connected to the knowledge that I'm interested in. Mm -hmm. And then I'm uh, also liking and appreciating people That's that it. are in the same line and direction. Mm -hmm. Actually, little by little, am I attracting only such type of people into my environment? Yes, that's it. So it's important also what I'm consuming because the algorithm mm -hmm. are seeing, aha, this guy that actually has a Facebook page, he's also monitoring yes. these specific things. And they also are actually then bringing uh, back to the algorithm this learning uh -huh. about also my behaviors. And then it uh, also is connected with the, how I attract my clients. Is it like... So That's that's exactly how it works and the, wh why why that happen why they monitor you and wh why they keep doing the things because that's how they make money like facebook makes money or, or instagram or any page make money by keeping you inside of the um, of it of the facebook of the social media page like they, they make money keeping you inside of it so if you like one thing they're gonna give more of the same thing for you so keep you inside of it. That's how like now people using a lot of TikTok. I don't know if I can if I can say the name here because you're another platform, but like mm -hmm. uh, they keep it inside of it because you keep like um, looking at, at one thing and they keep showing you showing you more of this thing. And you keep watching and you keep watching and you keep flicking. And like most of people are spending hours of time flicking looking at the same things and like they love it because they keep you inside of the of the of the page or of the platform the second way of they make money is like by advertisements so mm -hmm. for me like it's good because um i pay facebook to send my advertisements to the people to the right people and how I can know that they are the right people? Because they monitor you and they know what you like. And like, I, seen, I can send you my advertisement is actually to you because I know that you're going to like it. I know that you're going to open it. And I know that you already like it, things that are similar to it. So actually, they are more than just a social media. They are, they are like a, a, a huge, like, the uh, data capturing in in analyzer like the, the the most of their business social media is like the front end the real engineering of them is like analyze and capture data from from anyone uh, from everyone so actually the big asset of the social interaction the social media and this digital space is actually the data yeah that's right the that's true. analyzation of the data so yeah, I understand this about uh, how long term when we are in the digital space, it is important to be very focused only on the things that are important to us and to be strongly connected with our passion that we are willing to share with the people with which mm -hmm. we want and not to distract ourselves with being yes. everywhere and just also buying things through Facebook or walking mm -hmm. everywhere just to be focused on the specific business while we are in this yes. media. 
Correct. And this is gonna bring like the, the right people to you and they're gonna send like these people because you're focusing on this. Can I give a tip for the people like they're, they're watching us right now? Yeah. The thing is like, uh, most of people are using like this, the same, the same profile for their personal uh, life and their business or they turn the personal profile into a business profile and that's good for their ego and only for the ego mm -hmm. and it's real bad for the algorithms because now the facebook understand that your personal profile is a personal profile it's not a business profile so when you turn into a business profile it's gonna take longer for it to understand that you're now you're a company now you have goals now you have like uh fine objectives and like as a personal uh, profile you don't have much of like goals you just want to hang out over there and like the, the facebook understand that you just want to hang out now uh that you have like turn it into a a, a business profile uh it's gonna take you longer to understand how it works and what you want to it's way better to any business to start a new profile like starts a new business profile and like if you if you really I'm not really into like social media page and the stuff. I I use it just for like the people that I, that I know closer. I don't keep flicking on it. But if you really like to flick to keep watching videos and photos and other things on your social media, I suggest you to use only the Meta Business Switch because it's a platform of Facebook that you can control your your Facebook or Instagram profile. Uh, as a business so you don't distract yourself looking at photos of other people no you just look at yours and you, you, you can program it your postings you can you can uh, boost your advertisements you can answer your um, your chat your direct or your messenger and you keep focusing only on your job only off in your work only in what you're you're creating and like if it's not your ego to see like oh i, I have a hundred i have a thousand i have a million followers keep with one good one and now make it two good ones and it's way better to have three good ones than you have a millions of bad ones and like keep growing but like bringing the people that really want your what you're offering to them like oh if you are offering like uh like a um a life growth like coaching method as i mean so bring people that really need it they're really looking for it not just people at all like most of people of the the coach systems keep posting like motivational phrase and that's all they make they flow the the, the page most of people just enter i like it, this phrase sometimes they share it and they go away or like oh i enter in the page I like it, all this, 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 this quotes. I follow it because I like the quotes, not by what the guy are offering me. So bring it, a little bunch of people that really likes what you're talking, that really likes you, that really likes your profile and they want your, your product. And what you're gonna do with them, they're gonna then drop down of the sales funnel. They're gonna send them uh, information they're gonna bring them more clothes to buy from you because they already like you, but somehow they're not buying from you. Like they, they have the, this, the, the things that like, don't make them buy from you. You, you. We need to break like all the objections to make them buy from you. And like, you keep educating them. You know, the, the real word for business on social media is educate your customers and drop them down uh the sales funnel to make them buy from you and actually for me is is how you use like social media for making sales so basically <clears throat> in uh, our social media environment that we're creating around us mm -hmm. we have some of the people that are long term maybe going to buy from us uh -huh. but also there are people that are just interested in what we are presenting yeah, as they're a curious so on mm -hmm. and uh, by creating this type of uh, 
ecosystem that we are working forward with actually when we are doing it with um direct advertisement we are going beyond our circle of friends yeah. and influence mm -hmm. but the algorithm because of our circle of friends actually it a little bit knows what type of people to attract or not uh -huh. yes they the the algorithm is always trying to understand what's better for you is actually like this some people like think the algorithm is a kind of villain but it's not like this they they always want to try to help you because they want to keep people close to you so if most of your social media uh, followers is like your friends they're just gonna bring more of your friends and actually how you're gonna break it like you said is like send advertisement from the people from out uh, of your like friends bubble i can say that mm. so as bringing people from from beyond that the algorithm gonna understand like actually by paying the, the the social media platforms they're gonna say okay maybe that this kind of people is the real one that they that he wants to speak with mm -hmm. so because you're gonna pay them they, they're gonna pay more attention on you and they're gonna say okay so if he's he gonna pay more for me if i bring them so i'm gonna bring much much more people to to his page and like this is gonna make him like make more advertisements so they're gonna uh buy like they're gonna pay more for for getting this these people and like it's a kind of cycle because they're gonna bring more and you gonna get more and they're gonna bring more and you're gonna get more and like how you kind of trade with the social media platforms on facebook mm -hmm. or or google how are you gonna trade with them and why, why do you think then that a lot of people has this objection that uh first of all they're or trying or are disappointed or think that actually paying for advertisement long term doesn't work or you need to have quite a lot of money in order to be mm -hmm. successful in this advertisement range uh, or is it actually some type of a limiting belief or uh -huh. or because okay. they cannot acknowledge that they has uh, or we have actually const wrongly constructed our approach towards the business or okay uh we, we can say like we, we th there's have two two ways to see of that objection you know mm -hmm. uh one way is like oh the people have like limited beliefs that if you, uh, the the advertisement doesn't really work and this stuff and like oh i don't want to pay for that and like uh most of people really want to like see to believe like oh yes i want to see if that really works but like they never try it so th just keeping that belief or maybe they actually doesn't really know how to do it and like to the people that really don't know and like I, I have a program for it like i can make it for you or i can help you to know it but like you can know it for free like the the facebook platform have like a a, a user guide that you learn how to do any of this stuff and how it works but like i believe like i go further on this this um uh, this belief like most of people it, it's how you create a business you know you need to do investments on your business to make it more to make more sales for any kind of business like if you really want to open like a physical one you have you need to have like a huge investment before to get results and the people like on the digital world i think that oh the digital they 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 still think that the digital world is a kind of different words a kind of different like metaverse and like no it's, it's quite the same it's quite the same you need to do investments to get more customers the difference like it's cheaper for the people that say oh yes i need to make like big investments i need to spend a lot of money no it's real cheaper most of the advertisement that i make i use like the the lower rate for long terms you know and the lower rate now i think that is like a, a one euro for for uh per day 
I, I think the lower is, is, is kind of this right now. It's like, so you can like invest one euro per day dur during 30 days. So uh, you're gonna spend like 30 euros, maybe a little bit more to bring like 10,000 of people to see your page. You that's sure about this? Quite, that's quite how it works. That's mm -hmm. quite how it works. And like during this month, this whole month, the algorithm is gonna understand like, oh, that's the real people that he wants. And like, they're gonna bring more for you. And remember, I told you about the pixel. So you pick up the pixel that you use the, this whole month and give it back to Facebook say, these people that are really like it. So they're gonna pick up this information. They're gonna use the thing that call it a uh, lookalike person. So, and they're gonna send the next advertisement to the people that really like it, the people that came to your page. And I told you like 10,000 of people and I'm, I'm doing short because with one euro, you can bring almost like 800 of people of interest to your page. You can really bring them to your page. Like that's the reach that Facebook shows us. And it's pretty cheap and you can measure and you can say exactly who you're gonna send it to. Like if you want to do like, if, if you want to do like the old times, you can do it. You can pay a million dollars to show it on the television. <laughs> you, can, you, you can pay like a billion dollars to show it on the Super Bowl. Or you can pay like 500 bucks for a guy to say it on the radio. But then what's the bad thing about this? You don't know who's gonna see it. You don't know if you're gonna take the action. You don't know it, you're just gonna show it. Like the old times that people paid like outdoors or the people so um, the magic thing about the, the digital world like, is like, as I said on, the, on my first phrase, is it's measurable and you can scale on it. Because once you have your 4% of clients, now remember I told you like, oh, if you, with one euro a day, you can get like a thousand of people uh, to see your advertisement. If you put two, if you put three a day, or you make like the biggest companies, they put like hundreds of thousands of dollars a day to show it to people. Like, and the people keep seeing, keep seeing, because if you go to your Instagram page, you're gonna see that every four um, uh, feed contents, you have one sponsored. And you're gonna see it more far, and you're gonna see a sponsored. And on your stories is as well, you're gonna see three or four stories of your friends and you're gonna see a sponsored one. So the people are showing their products like, and that's how you're gonna bring people. You're gonna understand the game. You're gonna understand how Facebook works and what, what, uh, what kind of data he wants to bring more people to you and the right people to you. So for the people that are not liking to investment to do it, just make the, the, the tests, you know, remember I told you like the, the, the essential thing is like doing tests and, um, and do it all again and do it all again and try it all again and do it like every time until you get like it right down. And you can start with like one year a day. Hmm. That's how cheap it is to, to, to do investments on, on social media. Yeah. And uh, regarding uh, the specific media uh, for Facebook, you need to have a different approach. And for example, for YouTube, also there are possibilities to make uh, this type of uh, uh, marketing and it's more specific there uh -huh. or? It's different. Uh, so the social media is different from each other. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Facebook, uh, and Instagram is the same company. They're mm. focused on entertainment. You know, you mm. go there to to spend like a lot, a little time. You can learn from this. They mm -hmm. have a lot of pages, real good on it, but it's not the focus. Mm -hmm. um, that's how the advertisement. That's why the advertisement that you make on Instagram needs to be shocking. 
So mm -hmm. you need to pick up their attention. They're like zombie walkers flicking on Instagram, like with the phone. So they keep looking at the phone and like spending time. So then you need to shock them. Like you need to show something they're going to stop and say, okay, that's something. And like they, they click on it. YouTube and Google ones are searching in games. So you go to YouTube or you go to the, the Google to look for something, to try to find an answer or to learn something. And that's how uh, in, on YouTube and in Google, you need to make like learning advertisements. So things that make them want more. Okay, so you show me this, I want more. What I do? And you say like, oh, came into my page or click on the link below. And the people on this social media, like there's different things, they're looking for it. So it's easier for them to, to do it. Like you, you told me about LinkedIn, LinkedIn mm -hmm. is like professional connections or people looking for jobs on this stuff. So what you need to do, you need to do to, to show them an opportunity. Show them an opportunity. They're, they're looking for opportunities, looking for connections. If you show them a real opportunity or a real connection, they're going to take it. They're going to take it. If you go on YouTube, on YouTube and show an opportunity, maybe they're not going to like it because they're trying to learn something and you're showing me an opportunity. I, I don't want this opportunity right now. You know, I want you to learn something. And if you post it on Facebook, so the people are looking at caddies and kittens photos and like they're like, and you show them an opportunity and they're like, okay, fuck it. Sorry <laughs> for the word. And they can just pass through. You know, it, it's, it, so... For each kind of social media, you need to understand what they want you and follow the rules. They're gonna bring you the best for you. Like they're gonna give you exactly what you want to. And, you know, you, you, we can talk about numbers. Okay, I want a million of people looking at my advertisement and stuff, but you don't need that amount of sales right now. You know, uh, if, if, if your product is like, it's like a thousand bucks. Mm -hmm. uh, it, the people really understand like the value of it. If you make like a hundred sales, like a uh, hundred K, like if you make like 500 sales, it's like 500 grand on it. If you make only, only, I say only a thousand of sales, it's a million company. In a thousand of sales, you can you can find a thousand of people on your neighborhood. You can find on the smallest island in the world. I think that might have, may have a thousand people. So it's like it's a it's a little like low percent of people that you need to bring like to buy from you. So it's better you focus on quality than quantity. You know, if you have like a hundred of good one. You're gonna make a hundred of sales, and you're gonna get like, in. That's how you, you're gonna make like a profitable business, and that's what I say to the people that don't believe that ah, if I make a, an investment, I'm gonna get a return on it. So the first thing that I say, just try it, and see. If you're not like, okay, you just learn something. You you just invest your money, learning that. Advertisement doesn't work for me. And I don't gonna waste any time on it. So for the people that doesn't work for them, yeah, there have some companies that may doesn't work. I can see right now, but may have. So for these people, just try. If it doesn't work, you just pay your investment on learning something. But I tried for every kind of company every kind of business and actually work even like uh bakery uh tattoo uh, studios and like even say selling uh, art stuff so sculptures and this stuff you just need to tell facebook exactly who gonna buy from you and it gonna send it to you so you can make sales that's exactly like this Mm -hmm. okay <laughs> that's great and uh i think uh more of the people that are watching can understand that it is not so difficult to 
enter even this digital space and to understand it from the other side, not from the consumer side only, mm -hmm. but from the side of uh, creating businesses and doing businesses. And you're actually discovering before us that it is possible to mm -hmm. actually have success. It is, of course, not easy as in every area of life, but it is good starting. It is good trying. It is good... Yes very carefully selecting what we want mm -hmm. and you're actually also saying like in the big businesses to try with a small um, investment in order to make a proof of sale to start mm -hmm. understanding what type of clients you're uh, attracting yes, that's it. in order to create this digital research and long term mm -hmm. to turn it into an yes. asset that is going to help you then with when you start That's scaling. It. Even even for big companies, the best thing to do is start like little. Start by little. Uh, doing the, the 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 smallest investment that you can that is possible. Because I I I have this comparison that's like uh, you 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 have to put like a. Uh, how can I say that? So you need you need to make like um, you need to make a start. And like you you cannot put a lot of investment on testing. Like you need to test slow to see which one brings more results. And that one in after that you find the the one that brings you good results and the one that brings like bad results. So, and then one you can invest more, and like see if you, if you bring like more results to you. So, so every time you raise you raise it your investments is j just just to finish it. I see my campaign. I, I see every campaign as a one. So I, I I can make a campaign for the whole year, but I say like every month every month is a is a different campaign. And how I actually use the investments. Again, I, I can teach you guys right now how to do it. I do it like the, the little and the bigger thing. And I just call them the, the, the big and the, the, the little. And it's the investments. Because like when you put like a little, and it's going to give you a big result. And for the next advertisement, for the next campaign, you pick up this big and turn it to a little again. Like this, this one is your little again, is your little investment. And like, you're gonna bring like, you're gonna give a bigger result. And you pick up this big result and like, and now this bigger one, turn it to a little, is your little. So after a while, you're gonna make like, you're, you're making like bigger investments and gonna take like bigger results and, uh, in a timeline, you you will learn like how to how to invest and how much like money gonna bring in, in profit to you by doing this. So start little and gonna raise it like this, like pick pick up your results and turn it into investments, and gonna bring your results and you're gonna turn it, this into investments again and you're gonna bring like more results. And so how that's how the cycle kind of works for me. Yeah, and like I, just 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 to finish all my thoughts, like before I forget it. Uh, so, uh, no, to me, like the most important thing of the social media is not is like bring customers to you, like real bring people that want to buy from you. Not just gonna bring people to see how great your page is and how great your social media page is. And that I, 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 I tried, like I really tried. And I told you before, I pick up my social media page and I hide it. And I pick up my landing page and I hide it from the, from the Google. So if, if someone wants to find me right now, quite of the, it, gonna, it doesn't gonna find me right now. And how and why I did it, like, I, I, I'm not stupid. I did it to try one thing. 
if I can only bring people that have real interest on my product. So I make advertisements and these people that click on the link is the only one they're gonna see my landing page. And this is the only people they're gonna find out my social media, whereas I nurture uh, my prospects. And anyone that doesn't follow these rules, not gonna like kind of like dirty my algorithm right now. That's what I'm trying to do. I, I would like to have like the cleanest algorithm with only people that are really prospects. And how I do this, I, I paid Facebook advertisements to bring only the right people for it. So that's quite for it. So if, if, if one of the people that are watching like Alexander lives right now, want to, to ask me a question or like understand something, I'm gonna give him a link where like the people can access uh, one of my pages and that's only how it's gonna work. You cannot go and Google and find me. And I did it like to test how we're gonna go and it's like it's doing very well right now. And like I'm, I'm spending, I'm gonna say wasting, I'm wasting less time like selling to people because the people that came to me already know what I'm selling, already know what my product is. They just have like a few, uh, a few things that I need to break. Oh, I don't have money right now. So the money things like one of the easiest like objections to break it. Uh, so I, I'm keep like breaking objections one by one. And like, unless if, if I come back with the page, I already know like all the objections that I need to take off. I'm just gonna give like a, an example. By breaking the money thing that is, oh, most of people think that like, oh, money is the biggest objection because I have no answers if the people say, oh, I don't have money to buy it. But money is every time relative depending on the value so if i say to you oh you have like um one million euros right now like one million yes yeah, yeah i can say one million because it's hard to get so you have one million right now to buy it from me you can say like okay watchers you, you're not gonna ask me what i'm selling you're just gonna say no fuck no i don't have a million like euros right now but if you say like oh yes i have like a real good yacht that like worth a three, 30 million dollars and I'm selling you for 1 million euro. You're gonna find a way to get that money to buy from me. You're gonna find a way because you cannot lose this opportunity. You cannot. So for the people that say, okay, I don't have money to buy it. Like the people doesn't really understand the value of your product. They don't think that they're gonna like losing an opportunity. So you, you're just gonna make them understand like how good this, your product you're gonna make for them. And like, what, what he, he gonna get is so big that like, they're gonna lose it if he, he don't get it right now. So that's how I deal like with the money thing. So people that th tell me that don't have money, maybe don't understand how I work or how good my product can be for them. Mm. And like if the, the people doesn't have money at all you don't have any way to get it the only thing is, is like okay just leave it by the side almost if you get the money he gonna buy for you or maybe he never gonna buy from you so you you, you don't need to waste your time on it mm -hmm. that's how i do my my object my objections and that's how i want you to, to kind of end in like what i have to say is like by by my example you know that you don't really need to have a good page a good landing page you don't really need to have like a big social media page like you don't need to have a tons of thousand of millions of followers no you just need to have good customers and you can you, and you can pay the facebook to bring it to you like you you can really pay it like that's how we make advertisements on facebook Okay. I'm sorry, I maybe talk too much. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. So actually, um, as you are explaining, the barrier 
to entry is not so big and this objection of money it's not so mm -hmm. big if we don't speak about millions or hundreds of thousands or tens of thousands if we understand that we can start with a small amount of money and just move towards uh, something long term mm -hmm. that can create value also it is important to understand what are the exact results that we are seeking because of course everybody says okay mm -hmm. my final destination is to have a sale but before we come to the sale uh how many more things we are anyhow buying with our swat of money let's say if we spend this month 500 dollars what mm -hmm. we actually are buying the first thing we are buying is the information of people yeah. that anyhow visited the page do mm -hmm. we have this information or only the people that clicked on the page yeah that's it that's it that, uh, so you you get like th that's how you start to grow your information basis mm -hmm. for your business like I, I told you like the first thing to do is like hallucinate and try to see and imagine it so you have a starting point and after the starting point, you, you need to test it. And you make like a lot of testings to find out who who is the people that have interest in you and have interest in your product. And, and the people that are, are, are looking for your transformation or, or your transformation, no, but like the, the, how, how, where are you going to take them? Like what, what, what are you going to make for them? And, and Facebook can bring it all to you uh, you have a lot of KPIs, you have a lot of indicators, you can see by it, you have the algorithm system, and you have the pixel system, so you, you have a lot of tools where you can see, like, if it, this is the right person they're going to buy from you, or if it's the wrong person they're going to buy from you, or if these people don't going to buy from you at all, so you can see it all on the Facebook tools, and um, or, or like I'm, I'm telling Facebook because we are on Facebook right now. You told me, but mm -hmm. uh, you can you, you have in in all the platforms like Google have like real good ones, and if you're doing like um, educational stuff, so if you're making like if you're selling like uh, uh, an online course or uh, uh, a digital stuff, so mentoring something that the people are gonna learn something from each. Uh, one of the best platforms to to make like advertisement is on YouTube because the people are already like there for learning. If you're selling something that like is an immediate um, stuff or is an immediate pain solution, uh, you can make it on Google because on the Google the, the people are gonna search exactly what he wants. And, like if it's your product, you're gonna show. Uh, the Google gonna show for you from, from there. And on Facebook, you just want the people attention. So you can sell almost everything on Facebook because the people are not there for buying things. They just there for like um, congregates and, and wasting time actually, not wasting time, but like using their times for, um, to, to interact with people or to see things or entertainment. So you can show them anything, like if, if, any kind of product you, you can sell on Facebook because the magic thing on Facebook is because the people show a lot of themselves on Facebook. They really show who they are. They, they don't post who they are, but like what, what they, they are watching what they're liking, what they're sharing, more show us who they are. So you can more be more, um, you can go actually into the bullseye with them because you can know exactly what kind of things they want you. And like you've really paid the Facebook to show your thing to them. So actually, so, this this learning thing and testing thing and like understand which the social media is the best for you is the key thing 
to make your, your advertisements and bring more customers to you. Who makes the, the sales? It's you. But you're gonna bring like the people to see what you have, what to create, what, what you have to sell. And, and, you, and you can sell to them by one by one or to make here like a real good page with a real good copy or make them to the shot. But um, you can measure how much people you sell, that uh, you send to this, um, to you, uh, for you to sell for them. So you, you can have all this, all this data or this analysis and like, like this, you, you, you can measure how you, you can actually measure how much sales you're gonna make every month because you know how much you're gonna invest, how much people you're gonna bring, and like how much of these people that came to me I can convert uh, into my product. So that, that's what I told you about like how we can measure and how we can scale. The only thing that we need to scale is like raise investments. Mm -hmm. because the hard work we already done okay yeah so we can deep dive for hours <laughs> yeah sure space it's not so easy there but mm -hmm. um yeah actually uh what is important for all of us that it doesn't matter if it's in the real world or if it's in the digital world still it is the mm -hmm. same interaction it's human to human though we are and, and, and just to complete what you say it doesn't matter where you are mm. i started this business in england mm -hmm. and now i'm back to my home because i can stay close to my wife and i can stay close to my family and i can be here so if 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 a, if a guy like um i don't know ghana or south africa or like uh, australia or japan or any kind of the world you have an internet access you can start a business online. You can make sales. Uh, that, that, that's the powerful thing about the digital world. Like you, you can make from everywhere to everywhere. You, you, you can sell like, you, I can sell anything. I can sell like uh, my, 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 my mentoring, like from here in Brazil to someone in, I don't know, in Alaska, if you want to like, and it's the same thing of selling to someone like right behind, like, right uh, by my side, you know, it's the same thing, like the internet make it easier. So you can make like the same things uh, in the different places and you can have like the results that you want to. They, they have some people that have a dream of working on the beach and stuff. It's good that you can have your internet access, you can live like that, it's bad because the sand gonna fuck your computer, but it's like no problem then. But the people have this vision of success is working on the beach. So by working on online basis, you can work like whatever you want to. By making your, by bring your business to the internet, you can like make sales from everywhere to anywhere, like to, to, to everywhere else. So that's the power of the digital world. I'm sorry I interrupt you, but I, I just want you to, to keep this like not not only like uh, my not only like on, on real or digital world, like you can be like whatever you want to and you can make it like real. So basically moving forward into the future, can we say that anyhow all of us are going to consume more of uh the products and more of the services mm -hmm. directly from other people in the future and also we will be di the direct sellers of our products for other people so long term mm -hmm. little by little there will not be so much physical stores as much more we are going just by this interconnection between each other to be sales and salesmen and consumers also for different services and products mm -hmm. also that's actually what's going on right now. Like we are already in the future. <laughs> Every day we're in the future of the past. <laughs> but like during the pandemic times, I don't know if I can say that, like pandemic times here, people are gonna shut down the life. But like um, 
the mm -hmm. world changed like their minds that they can buy it online. Like they they just it it just break like forced break because we could not go to the store. So we need to buy it from home. And the best way is doing by internet. So they weren't just change it all the way. So even like products, you are already buying them from other people. You're just, use, just using big platforms. You know, I, I know that like almost 80% of everything that is that, that the people sell on Amazon uh, is not from Amazon. You just buy from the other people. In the Amazon is just making the intermediate like stuff and like it's just the platform that you then you're gonna get from it. And the people, the people don't even have like warehouse anymore. Like the people just just have a system called Dropbox. Is it's not that new, but like the people just buy something from you, and you're just gonna give like you just send them from the factory, like in China or like in Europe straight to them like you don't need a uh, warehouse anymore you just need the only thing that i told you is that you just need to focus on selling things and yeah. it's the only way to make money in the world it's selling things if you're like you work for somewhere you're still selling your time you're still selling your knowledge but you're every time selling things yeah so anyhow moving forward to the digital <laughs> future space all of us are anyhow going to be much more comfortable to sell and to buy from each other different things and mm -hmm. it will be normal part of life just when we interact with each other oh what are you selling what is your passion yes. what are you consuming and so on and so on so yeah we'll see how this is going mm -hmm. to unfold before us but it is um interesting to know you and uh -huh. uh, later i'm going to post uh, in the comments uh, you you'll send me more information about you if people are willing okay. to reach you and uh, speak with you about the digital space and i really liked how you described the processes of uh, digital business like this breeding i like this allegory that you used that yes <laughs> not possible to have business without this breeding process and part of the process is the sales it's not only sales of course mm -hmm. but all this process that is like a flow yes that's it that's it like um i i i, own, I see a business like as a living body and like for me the most important thing on the body like you you can have, stay days without eating anything you can stay days without drinking anything if you you, you can actually can uh, you you can stop moving but the only thing that you can't stop doing is like breathing and breathe for me in business uh, is like making sales because for me the, uh, the oxygen in your body is like the money that you bring in and the carbonic gas that you release is like the investments that you make. So you keep it making this flow. You meet, you keep uh, making the, the investments so you can bring more money inside and like you keep and do it. And to make, to, to keep your, your body like still living. And most of the companies are struggling on it. Most of companies are not selling. So they are not breathing. So they are suffocating or Maybe they are trying to sell, but they don't want to make investments. So it's like they're like, take a deep breath and hold it and just keep holding. Like you, you can still alive for a while, but you can hold it forever. And the, 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 the funny thing about the, the, this allegory that I make is like, once you start breathing, your body doesn't really die like at the time your body starts to die like as low. So every part of your body starts to die like in a, in a kind of fucking domino thing that you're going to drop every time every time. So you're not seeing that your company is dying because it don't die instantly. So it's, it's the, oh, so you, you, uh, uh, there's a point, this point is right before like you, you, 
you give up is the one that like the point that you don't believe anymore in what you are doing and it's only because you, you don't have results but the results on every company came from selling you know came from money um so the things you keep like the the any business alive is knowing how to make sales and how to do it properly and after like the people learn how to to make sales how to breathe properly like there's done an, uh, a lot of kind of techniques that you can learn of how to breathe it's like the real life where you breathe and like there is another way how to breathe there's like a concentrate beef that you take a deep breath and release there is a, a yoga thing that's kind of like pranayama that you learn the exact time where do you take it, where do you hold it, and where do you release it, so you can make like, uh, so you can do it better with your body, and like you you can you can you can make your business like uh, improve your business by thinking this. And like, there is no problem in the world on the business that money cannot solve. That's one thing that I take. Like, there is no problem that money cannot solve. Even like, is everything ruined? You can pick up the money and start another fucking one. Like there's no problem that that money cannot solve. That's how it works. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, thank you very much for thank you very much participating yeah. today and uh, enlightening us uh, more about the digital space that it is not so mm-hmm. dark there and uh, all this advertisement is not like uh, it is so scary and mm. long term anyhow all of us will need to learn this so better yeah, sure. like the small babies to start mm. doing these small trials and anyhow all of us are going to start walking and mm. breathing normally and creating businesses that can sustain themselves and uh, can actually create <laughs> So businesses that are long-term sustainable and uh, attract the right clients that are for the specific businesses. Yeah, so thank you. Thank you very, very much, much for your attention. And uh, we will post later also the links. Okay. Of Paolo and who is willing to connect with you can connect and discuss more about digital marketing, how you are doing mm-hmm. it, not so pushy, much more organically maybe thinking twice four times a lot of times a lot of analyzing of the data mm-hmm. yeah. yeah so it is great talking to you well, it's a great talking i, I just want to thank you for the opportunity to say like to expose myself and to expose my my thoughts uh, i just say that like it's more um uh, like it, it doesn't that hard it's it's more like it's more like the fear to start or to learn than like it's it's real hard work because it, uh it's it's hard to understand but uh at the time that you understand it's pretty easy because facebook made it all to be like the more intuitive way after understand how it really works you know and the second thing that i want to say to end this up I want to tell your audience that like <laughs> Alexander invited me, no scripted, no at all. So every time we, we talked here, like it's just thing that came to, to your mind, like we didn't make no edit or no scripting here. So sorry if sometimes I I over speak it or like I, I, I miss uh, misplaining myself, but it's because like it was a good talk because of this, like we didn't have like no, no scripted, no thing. I just pick up my note and I have nothing noted in there. So I I just I just told you guys uh, all my thoughts that I was going on at the moment. So it was very good. Thank me for inviting me here. And thank you, you guys for listening to me. Yeah, thank you all and bye bye and have a nice uh, continuing part of our reality. And anyhow, digital space is part of our reality and we cannot ignore it. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. Bye bye, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.